Echoes are really important in ultrasound. This is what all of ultrasound is based on. An echo is a reflected sound wave. If you have the body and you have your transducer, which is the ultrasound probe that we have, the transducer sends a sound wave into the body and that sound wave hits a structure in the body and it sends a reflection back up to the transducer. And this reflection is what we call an echo. And echoes tell us about the characteristics of the structure that that sound wave hit. If you think about a transducer, it's sending multiple sound waves down into the tissues at once and getting multiple echoes back to the transducer. What we care about echoes is their brightness and their pattern. And this gives us information about the characteristics of a mass. First thing we look at is called echogenicity. Echogenicity is how bright the reflected echoes are. And we determine brightness by how many echoes are in an area. If we have a mass and it's completely black inside, on ultrasound a black area means there's an absence of echoes. We call this anechoic, uh, meaning no echoes. And this means when the transducer sends a sound wave into the tissue and it hits a structure, no echo goes back or no reflection goes back to the transducer. And when we see black things on ultrasound, these are our fluid-filled structures, our blood vessels, our cystic fluid collections, milk ducts. These are the types of things that appear black on an ultrasound. When the sound wave goes into the tissue and returns a weak echo, you get back a dark gray color inside of whatever area that you're looking at. We call this hypoechoic, and this means that the this structure very weakly reflected the sound wave. So a very weak reflection is coming back to the transducer. Hyperechoic is exactly the opposite of hypoechoic. This means that the structure really strongly reflected the sound wave, and it's returning a really strong reflection or echo back to the transducer. And these structures on ultrasound appear white or really light gray. And then we have something called ice so echoic. In ultrasound, how we determine the brightness of an area in the breast, we compare it to the color of the fat in the breast. Fat on a breast ultrasound is a medium gray color. All the colors that we look at are all compared to that medium gray color. Isoechoic means that structure that's reflecting in the breast reflects the same amount that that medium gray fat reflects. It's uh, returning medium gray echoes back up to the transducer. And then often isoechoic masses are the hardest to find in ultrasound because they really blend in with the breast tissue. And then we have another category called complex. Complex has two meanings in breast imaging. Uh, one meaning is that an area is filled with both cystic and solid components. So you may have part of the mass be solid and the rest of it be fluid. Solid means that an area is tissue. Cystic means an area is fluid. Complex would mean it's got both solid and cystic components to it. Complex can also mean that there's multiple different types of echoes inside of an area. You may have a mass that is hypoechoic and hyperechoic and anechoic. There's a whole bunch of different types of echogenicities present. That's also another meaning of complex. And then we also have echo texture. This is where we look at the uniformity of reflected echoes. We want a mass to be even inside. We want it to be the same color throughout the mass. We don't want any parts of the mass to look different from any other parts of the mass. If you have a mass and it's all uniform color inside, uniform brightness, we call that homogenous. And that means that the echoes inside are all even and they're all the same brightness level. And then you have the opposite of that, heterogeneous. And this means that there's multiple different brightness levels within the mass. It's very uneven inside. So parts of it may be darker, parts may be brighter. Complex masses are heterogeneous because they have multiple different types of brightness inside. This is our, our chart to show different brightness levels. Hyperechoic would be on this end of the scale, your bright stuff. Uh, calcifications in the breast, which are little calcium deposits, are hyperechoic. Glandular tissue is hyperechoic. Fibrous tissue and glandular tissue. Then as we get more to the midline, this would be our isoechoic. Fat is isoechoic since fat's compared to fat. Our benign solid nodules are more on the brighter end of hypoechoic. Hypoechoic is a wide range, kind of from your medium gray all the way to your darker gray. As a general rule in ultrasound, uh, the darker an area, the more chance it has of being malignant, and the brighter an area, the more likely it is to be benign. The exception to that is anechoic, black, 
is almost always fluid, and so that's a very benign finding. Here's an ultrasound representation. Here's our first category, hyperechoic. If you look at this brighter mass here, so the fat in the breast is this gray stuff. The white stuff is the glandular tissue. And if we see this mass here, if we want to compare the color of this mass to the fat in the breast, the fat's a medium gray, see this mass is brighter. So we would call that hyperechoic. Over here, we have something anechoic, this black mass. And we're comparing the black color to the medium gray color of the fat. We call that anechoic. This is isoechoic. Here's our mass right in here. And as you can see, isoechoic masses are very hard to visualize because they're the same color as the fat that's around it. And then we have hypoechoic. So this is our dark gray category. In this case, this was a cancer. And you can see it's very dark gray. And the darker shade of gray it is, the more worrisome the mass is. When we compare to the medium gray color of the fat, it's much darker than that. We call that hypoechoic. And then this is complex. There's multiple types of echoes present in here. Brighter echoes, darker echoes, and black echoes. Also, this mass black is fluid, so we know parts of it are cystic and parts of it are, are not black, so parts of it are also solid material. Echo texture, so this is how uniform things are on an ultrasound, so you see this mass up here, all the echoes inside are, it, they're pretty uniform, pretty much the same color throughout. All masses are never going to be 100% uniform, you can see there's tiny little areas maybe of different echogenicities, but when you look at this mass, at least 90% of the mass is the same color, call that homogenous where this mass has multiple different types of brightness levels. Um, we call that heterogeneous.